Hello, it's Emma Jo here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make some rather funky medieval inspired earrings using our Lavinia Stamps stencils and some fab foils and some elements inks. It reminds me a lot of stained glass windows. And I have seen some tiles like this in the Vallecrucis Abbey, just outside of Llangollen. I think they're pretty funky. Anyway, that's the plan for today. Enough of me talking here. Let's get down to the business end. Okay, so we're going to be staining the shrink plastic with the acrylic sprays, chartreuse and cranberry red. So the first one I'm going to put on is the chartreuse and I'm using a blender. And it's sort of, you might think, oh, that doesn't look like it's doing much, but it is, it's staining it. Because the colours become quite intense when they shrink, we don't really want too much colour on there. So it might look a bit light and nothing to you, but it'll get better. This, my lovelies, is sun yellow. Okay, so we've gone with sun yellow in the middle. And of course that will blend nicely into the red on the left and the green on the right. So we'll get a little bit of orange maybe and a paler green. Stencil again with a blender because I found on shrink plastic because it it's got nowhere to sink into, you're better off using something that gives you less fluid and I find I get more control from a blender. So I've used elements, the henna elements, for the stencil and that was dynamic stencil. And this, my lovelies, is words two. OK, so this is word stencil number one. Some of these I might not use, but I'm just, you know, having a look for things that I think look medievally. And the flowers do. And the very top of that reminds me of a fleur de lis. And we're going to use that as well. OK, and there you go. So I've got quite a few that I could use. OK, so I've used acrylic sprays and elements to achieve that. And now we're going to mark out the tiles. Now, what I've done is obviously I'm using a Lavinia Stamps craft mat. And because it's got a grid behind it, um, I am using the grid to work out where I'm going to cut these tiles. And I'm aiming on four squares making my tile because it comes out at quite a nice size. And it also helps me because it's see through this plastic. You can see which bit of the pattern you want. And here we go. I'm going to cut them out now. And I really think, there we go, I've sped it up quite speedily. Look at all those lovely tiles I've cut up. You're not going to need all of them. So this is where you sort out your design. You could have enough here for quite a few earrings. Right, what I've done is I've lined up my tile with a centre line and I am just marking out where I want to punch my holes so that they are lined up with each other. Again, using the craft mat. A craft mat is my friend. OK, so I've marked them out and I'm just lining them up and punching them. On Every tile apart from the bottom one, you will need a, a hole at the top and a hole at the bottom because that, my friends, is where we're going to put the jump rings. The jump rings! And that will link our tiles together. OK. Ah, shrinky time! I'm just using a very long paintbrush handle here, but you could use a chopstick or a pencil or scissors. There we go. Can you see how it's shrunk from quite a large size down to that dinky little tile, giving it a quick iron? And I think I'm going to show you the magic of shrinky, which isn't actually a trade name, 
although I really think it should be. Shrinkage. There we go. Now we add some bling. Hurrah! I'm using fab foils and I've gone for the gold because it lifts the colours. So I've cut a little bit off and I'm getting the two, the Zig two-way glue pen. I'm just going to add the gold embellishments where I want them. Now in this case, the first tile, I am putting it round the outside, round the outside, like a little frame. I've only done three sides at a time because, because it's just easier to hold that way. So we add a little bit of heat so it gets sticky and tacky. And so when you touch it, your finger is sort of stuck to it, a bit like a sticker. And then you pop your fab foil on, burnish it with your finger or thumb or a burnishing tool if you have one. Do the last side. And if you want to add any more, glue. That's the joy of this pen. It's so easy to use. And the effects are stunning. Can you see it's catching the light? If you look at the top of the tiles there on the top right hand side that I've already shrunk, that's, the gold is lovely. Now we add our earring findings. This is where I have to use tweezers so that you can see what I'm doing. I say tweezers, I mean pliers. So I've got a jump ring and I've just twisted it to open. And I'm going to drop, I am, I'm going to drop, there we go, the tile onto it. But of course I need to add it to another tile. So, with a little bit of jiggery pokery, you get the two on together and you keep doing that until you've got a long dangly earring. Then, my friends, you pop it onto a French hook earring wire, closing the wire with your round nose pliers. Simple. You did it! Yay! What do you think? Do you like them? They're a bit funky, aren't they? Different. Anyway, for anybody who's a cosplayer and is looking for something to wear with their medieval outfit that is just that little bit different, these are for you. In the meantime, well done people. We've made them. You're amazing. Thank you for popping by and watching me today and I hope I've inspired you to have a go and as usual if you've got any comments please pop them in the post below and if you've got any photographs of things you've made I'd love to see them. I'll try and answer your comments as best as I can. Take care and of course as always have fun. <laughs>